OpenAI released GPT-5, and within a week, they brought back GPT-4.0. Why did the new version turn out worse than the old one? Communities on Reddit and Twitter flooded OpenAI with complaints. GPT-5 became cold, emotionless. Even in the My AI Companion subreddit, users are writing en masse that they stopped interacting with the new model. The Guardian published a column with the sarcastic headline, Did the system update ruin your boyfriend? For OpenAI, this is a reputational hit. The discussion is not only about code anymore, but about about human perception. Business Insider directly advises users don't rush to leave GPT-4.0. Media themselves admit the new version is not a replacement yet. In response, OpenAI opened access to GPT-4.0, 4.1, and even the old GPT-4.5, but only for pro users. In the settings, a new option appeared, show additional models, giving users back the choice. Sam Altman himself admitted the problem on Twitter and promised an update to GPT-5's personality to make it warmer. The company officially recognized the intelligence is there, but the character character is broken. GPT-5 received four modes, auto, fast, thinking mini, and thinking. Different balances between speed and depth of response. Fast gives almost instant results, but sometimes too shallow. Thinking digs deeper, but users complain that even in this mode, the answers sound dry. The message cap increased from 200 to 3,000 per week. This is the main improvement for power users and companies who rely on ChatGPT daily. At the same time, Microsoft quietly strengthened its integrations. GPT-5 now works deeper with Teams, Outlook, and Office. For the corporate sector, this is a significant step. Through new connectors, GPT-5 can now connect to Gmail, Google Calendar, and even GitHub. But the feature is still in beta and some users report instability. And here's the paradox. Technically, GPT-5 became more powerful, faster, more integrated. But in the community, the meme is the same. Cool tool, but talking to it still feels like talking to a robot. Meanwhile, competitors are moving forward. Anthropic added new learning modes to Claude. They work like study mode in GPT, but with focus focus on dialogue. The model doesn't just give an answer, it asks counter questions and explains steps. Media note, Claude now teaches you how to think, not just answers, a sharp contrast against complaints that GPT-5 is soulless. Perplexity is also on the rise, launching AI search with source citations and already integrating into Truth Social. Business Insider confirmed Perplexity became the search engine inside Trump's social platform. That's a new audience, where Google used to dominate. But there's also the downside. Cloudflare accused Perplexity of secretly scraping sites that disallowed bots. The scandal only boosted the discussion around the brand. Subscribe to stay up to date with the latest news on AI with Metapulse.